Hi, what's up? In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this chromatic iridescent gradient animation in After Effects. It will be a step-by-step -step tutorial so you can follow along and create your own. And if you like this kind of aesthetic, you can download a 4K wallpaper pack from Gamroad or you can support me on Patreon where you can find the project files, the wallpaper pack and other tips and tricks for motion design. Link in the description below and now let's get started with the tutorial. Alright, so I've already created my composition and this is a 9020 by 1080 24 fps and I already have my color palette right here and now let's start creating some random shapes. So I'm going to take my pen tool and for the fill I'm going to choose this one because we don't want any fill and for the stroke let's choose a solid color, press ok and I'm going to make it uh, for the width 99 and for the color let's start with the first color and this is if you want to write the hex code this is E26 D7A okay and let's just start creating a random line something like this okay now Let's take and choose another color for the second line. This one is 4048C6. Okay. Now for the third one, let's take this color. This is DE3346. Now let's take the next color, this gray right here, this is C8, C7, E3. Okay, let's move this layer right here so we can see the colors. And now let's take the next one, which is 5A, 3A, 81. Let's now take the next color. This is 3133C3. And let's take another color, this one which is CE5181. Okay, and let's take the last one, which is this steel right here. This is 45A4D. Okay. Okay, something like this. I can now disable my color palette layer. And now let's take all these layers and let's pre-compose them. And let's call these lines. Alright, now I'm going to create a new solid for the background. And for the color, I'm going to choose a purple one. So this will be 580A8B. Okay, let's move this layer uh, beyond the lines layer. And let's call this BG. Now for these compositions, for the lines layer, let's add a vector blur effect. This one. By the way, if you don't have this panel effects and presets, just go to window and make sure you have this one enabled effects and presets. And for the type, I'm going to choose uh, direction fading. For the amount I'm going to choose 100 and for the angle offset I'm going to create an expression for this. So in order to do that I'm going to hold option and click on the stopwatch and if you're on Windows hold the alt key and click on this stopwatch right here. And I'm going to write here time multiplied by 70 
and now we have a little bit of animation maybe we can change this resolution to half okay something like this now let's add a new effect this is radial blur make sure you have the composition selected before you click on the effect actually we don't want this radial blur let's choose this one CC radial blur and for the type let's choose uh, rotate for the amount make it 29 and yeah that's pretty much all and now let's add another effect this is turbulence effect and this one turbulent displays for the amount let's choose 130 for the size let's make it 110 and for the offset I'm going to choose I'm going to take this point right here and drag it in the top left corner or you can just right here 0 and 0 and for the evolution so again we want a bit of animation you can see already it looks pretty cool so in order to have this animated again click on option actually hold on option key and click on the stopwatch and let's write here time multiply by 50 and now we have a little bit of animation to the background okay and if you want you can rotate it let's make it 180 degrees okay now let's duplicate this composition by pressing ctrl d or command d and i'm going to press u twice in order to see the effects we have manipulated and for this one for the vector blur I'm going to change the angle offset to time multiply by 50 and for the radial blur I'm going to choose this scratch and amount make it 4 for the turbulent displays let's change this one to twist for the amount make it 295 for the size 130 and for the complexity 1.4 let's close this one maybe rename this one lines underscore uh, map let's now create a new adjustment layer and this is just for color grading let's rename this to color grading color grading and I'm going to add an unsharp mask effect and for the amount make it 145 for the radius 40 you can see this one how it plays want you can increase it further or less yeah I'm going to make it 140 now let's add some curves you can type curves and let's just create a bit of S curve one point here and one here this will create a bit of contrast and one here and I'm going to add a color balance here this one and for the red for the shadow red I'm going to put minus 25 for the shadow green make it 32 for the shadow blue minus 53 for the mid-tone red 2 for the mid-tone green 17 for the mid-tone blue let's make it minus 27 for the height light red minus 26 height light green 22 and height light blue let's make it three. so this is without and this is with if 
if you like it like this without the color balance obviously you can just let it like this yeah i think i like it more without or you can just play with these values to have something you like okay now we can go back to the lines composition and let's try adding a blobilize effect so this one cc blobilize and here for the layer i'm going to choose lines map and effects and mask and we can play with the softness and cutaway and you can see if we increase the cutaway we have a really nice effect maybe increase it just a little bit with 44 or you can let it without the effect however you like it and yeah this is how it looks pretty damn awesome okay and for the final touch let's add again a new adjustment layer let's call this noise and let's search for noise hls maybe choose this one with auto and i'm going to choose squared if we zoom here a little bit you can see it better if i increase the lightness to i don't know maybe 20 you can see it right here it doesn't look very good because we're on half resolution but if we change this to full resolution it looks very nice maybe we can put a bit of animation on this one so again hold option and click on the stopwatch and let's write time multiply by 50 let's choose again half resolution so we can see it clearly and yeah this is how it looks now if you want to add some extra things you can create a text for example and let's increase the font size let's center it and put it beyond the noise layer and let's add again a globalize effect and for the map let's choose the lines composition and effects and mask and let's play a little bit with the softness and the cutaway And if you play this, you can see how it looks. It's a little bit jerky at some times, but you can fix it by changing the property to alpha instead of lightness. Yes, totally fine. And we can also add some drop shadow to this. a bit something like this so for distance i'm going to use 12 and 54 for the opacity and yeah it looks pretty cool all right so this is the final result hope you like it and if you're still watching then you can use the code youtube zero on gamma road in order to download the wallpaper pack for free so thanks for watching, talk to you in the next one, cheers!